In 1917, a urinal changed the course of art history. For the price of one dollar, the Society of Independent Artists declared that any artist can become a member. Any member can pay five dollars to enter their work into the Independence Exhibition. It was the largest show of modern art in America, and it was meant to be a forward-looking stand against what they perceived to be a conservative and stifling attitude of the National Academy. Marcel Duchamp entered a work into the show, and as you can probably guess, it was a urinal. It wasn't a urinal that he sculpted from porcelain or baked in a kiln. It was a perfectly made, mass-produced, ordinary urinal that Duchamp bought in a store. He took the work, placed it on its back, and signed and dated the work Our Mutt 1917. He named his work Fountain. In other words, Duchamp appropriated an existing object. He rendered it non-functional and positioned it as a work of art. He called this new form of art making ready-mades. So why did he sign his work with a pseudonym R. Mutt? One part of the answer may be that Duchamp was actually the director of the society and he was a member of the organization committee. But another part was that Duchamp also loved to play with words. The name Mutt may be a play on the word Mott, which is the name of the store where Duchamp bought the urinal, but it's also said it's referencing the popular comic Mutt and Jeff. In the comic, Mutt is a dim-witted, greedy character who's always coming up with get-rich-quick schemes. And Jeff was his gullible sidekick who is an inmate of a mental asylum. So this can be Duchamp's way of poking fun at the pompous art world. And in fact, it's been suggested that R stands for Richard, which in French is a colloquialism for money bags. So when the urinal arrived at the exhibition hall, Duchamp's co-directors actually refused to show a fountain despite having the six bucks attached which is required to enter the show. The unjuried show accepted all 2,125 works of 1,235 artists, all except the work of R. Mutt. Many felt that the work was insulting, some thought it was a joke, and in fact it disappeared. A possible remake was photographed a few days later, but that too has disappeared. Duchamp, of course, was quick to point out that the liberal and progressive art society was failing at what they originally set out to do. The Richard Mutt case, which was published in a magazine through Duchamp's proxy, Beatrice Wood, read, Whether Mr. Mutt, with his own hands, made the fountain or not, has no importance. He chose it. He took an ordinary article of life, placed it so that its useful significance disappeared under the new title and point of view, created a new thought for that object. The fountain forces the viewer to leave old questions of art behind. No longer are we concerned with the aesthetic questions of craft, medium, and taste. Arise are new questions that are ontological, epistemological, and institutional. Questions that are still debated to this day.